Welcome, Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to look at the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, line 18. The translation that I'm reading says, Pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall. The opposite of humility, pride, always leads to destruction. This form of pride isn't to be confused with the joy, dignity, and honor that comes from accomplishing something or seeing someone else accomplish something. No, (laughs) the pride mentioned in Proverbs and other Bible sections is the opposite. Pride is the arrogance that comes from vanity. It is a twisted view of reality. Pride will always block our blessings. When we are too prideful we, to say we need help, we won't get the help we need. I have allowed my pride to completely contaminate my space and environment to the point that I have lost at times more than others may ever gain. Is that not ridiculous? to visualize my pride kept me from maintaining or developing further something I already had in my possession how ignorant is that Not wanting to appear weak or lacking, my pride has kept me from asking for assistance from other people, which resulted in being weak and lacking. We must push pride out just as we would fear. The root of pride, arrogance, and any other sin, push it out. Get out of your own way and allow the blessings God has in store for you to flow through whatever channel and path he has established. God's busy trying to provide us with opportunities to thrive and we're busy blocking them with our pride to the point we at times struggle to survive. You never know who or what God has placed in your life to help you reach your goals and fulfill your purpose in life. Let go and let God. Let's pray on it. Father, I want my strength to come from faith in you, not in pride or arrogance, which only weaken me. Open my eyes to see and acknowledge how pride is self-destructive and the reasons for many of my failures in life. In times when I should be asking for assistance or direction, but my pride stands in the way, remind me of the blessings I am blocking in my stubbornness. Free me from my personal bondage, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings, and that you're a blessing to others. I love you all. Take care.